because like I totally forgot to like print out my character sheet. Then I'm like, wait a minute, I can just print it now. <laughs> so those little niceties in life. Yeah. <laughs> It's like I have two monitors and I could have thrown it up on the one screen, but like, I don't know, when, you, when you're looking at a character sheet, especially for long periods of time, it's better yeah. not to like be staring into what is effectively a light bulb. Pretty much. Well, I I generally have about that setup. I got the one older Panasonic CF74, which is my resource laptop that's off to my right. Mm-hmm. But I'll have char- character sheets and digital up there. Yeah. Uh, I also print um, a hard copy. In fact, that's what I'm doing now as I'm talking because uh, with Nick saying that, it reminded me because I do like to have that hard copy when you got several other things going on. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it's it's a great note paper. Like, you got to yeah. take notes and then – it's all attached to your character sheet, so you don't have to have to like, well, where's my notes? Where's my character sheet? It's definitely a, an upside to, to old school. Uh, right. I get it. It's killing trees, but at the same time, it's like... You know what? I don't have a problem with killing trees. I, if you want to be honest about it, I don't have a problem killing with trees. As long as when you kill them, yep. number one, you, you kill them for a purpose. Hmm. Number two... You uh you replace them with a oh, yeah. with a seedling. Uh, yeah, what, as what far the, as that. Well, this is this is why this is why hemp is such a big deal. I mean, it it grows faster. It makes better paper. I mean, it does a lot of things. You know, it's great for paper rope. Uh, they can make all kinds of things out of it now. But um, just paper alone would save you know billions of trees. You know, and it makes better paper that lasts longer. Uh, and the growth rate is so much faster. You know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, you know, it it, it, can, it takes, you know, <laughs> decades at best <laughs> to get a decent sized tree, you know, if you're going with pine. But, well, uh, no, uh, no, about a decade, uh, because the most popular tree up in, well, all three of our neck of the woods for paper mm-hmm. is, pop, is poplar, which is a yeah. soft, soft wood and it grows fast. And if you let it grow it too does. long, it actually dies from the inside out, gets hollow, and gets dangerous. Yeah, but I'm still saying that that that, that hemp is still quicker, and you know you don't have to. It, it's less destructive. Well, there has to be a reason why, in the early and uh, early eighteen uh, early nineteen hundreds, late eighteen hundreds, they stopped using it. I don't know well, why. Be- well, because it, it mainly because it it. Uh, um, well, I know that more recently, right, it's because because it looks looks too much like pot, you know, and and they 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 can't tell the difference, you know. It's like, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it it it's it's tied. To it, the, it's uh, it's like a to, cousin to reefer madness. Yeah, it's a cousin related to weed, and people like think that it's like this one and the same. It's like no, they're not. They just look similar. Yeah, but when the paper in- industry made the switch, because they did use it for paper for a while. And rope and uh, clothing and a bunch of other things. Yeah, no, it's 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 demonstrably better. I mean, uh, uh, this, uh, yeah. my my question, and I don't know the answer, uh, but is why did they make the change? Yeah. Um, I think it was lobbyists in the lumber I, I was, industry. I was gonna say if I if I if I, if I were gonna put money on it, I would say lobbyists because I you know there again back in the early 1900s around that time frame where they made the switches. Mm-hmm. Uh, it lobbyists weren't. I'm not saying they weren't there. They weren't as strong. Well, they weren't called that. I mean, and there, it, and you didn't it, have, that, was, and you didn't have the uh, the reefer or the pot scare. Well, it depends on when it was. Like it, it, toward, toward the late 1800s, uh, especially at once the slaves were freed, they they started to you know, that that sort of thing began. Um, but I mean. If you're talking just, uh, I mean, like I said, they weren't necessarily, wait, what do you call it? Like, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, they weren't they weren't exactly uh, lobbyists like we think of today. But, you know, every politician had his rich buddies that say, hey, uh, I'd be happy to finance your campaign if you'd, uh, you know, 
Oh <laughs> yeah, there was my, a... lawyer, my lawyer wrote up, you know, and, and uh, there's to make all... sure that this uh, this hemp nonsense goes away, you know. <laughs> well, there's always been, <laughs> you know, well, there's mean? always been corruption and graft in politics. Uh, I mean, I think this shortly after politics was devised, it started. Oh sure. Uh, I mean, look at uh, look at Greece with the Senate's and the way that the. Uh, some of the things like there, oh, yeah. it, it all started on a good intention, but you know the pathway to hell is uh, paved with good intentions. <laughs> sure enough, uh, as the old saying goes. But um, so that yeah, it doesn't matter the tag that you put on the group, the aspects that you're talking about, they've always been there. I don't, and that's what I'm wondering. It wasn't more driven that way. Or was it driven because of a different thing? The machinery, the processing. Uh, I mean, and, based, based, based on, based on stuff. yeah, I mean, based on what we know right now, um, it's definitely more cost-effective and less destructive. So, for what it, whether whether they had a good reason then and it's no longer pertinent, or someone just made up a reason because they wanted to make money doing something else, I don't know. But we could do it now. <laughs> yeah, well, no, but, and I'm not. I'm, I'm yeah. not even debating against that. Yeah. It's just uh, the question that pops into my head: When we make changes, why are we making changes? Right, right. And then after that, my head goes: Does it make sense to make the change? Yeah, is is, is there a good reason for it? Yeah, and uh, we still. Uh, I, I know in Germany, uh, I had uh, what the year before we left. And one of the Renaissance, uh, I call it a Renaissance, but they had a different name for it, mm -hmm. uh, a fest there. The, the, uh, there was a vendor there uh, selling hemp burgers and other things uh, along that way. I need to find that, uh, that picture because I, I had to take a picture and I bought a couple uh -huh. and ate them. They weren't half yep. bad. <laughs> Um, you know, as far as, as far as I go, but it was for me at that time, it was more a novelty. Sure. And I didn't have to worry about pissing hot. Yep. As far yeah. as that, because I, I, being a department army civilian at that time in my life and career, we, I, we didn't get a lot of random piss tests unless you were acting like some goof. Right, right. That, that warranted it. Um, right. Where right. when I was in the service, you never knew what happened. In fact, in Germany, it was really bad because you got brochen there, and they had the poppy seed brochens there. And if you ate, if literally in the early days of the uh, the piss test that they had there, if you ate too many of them, you'd come up hot for opium. Right. Uh, on their test, because uh, the tests weren't all that. They were great, great back yeah. then either. Yeah. So yeah, you, you had to prove you had to prove. All I had was some bread. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing, I swear. Yeah. Um, all right. Um excuse me. Oh, bless you. You're welcome. Um all right. So um So you guys have been part of TimeWorks for a while, by the way, time we pick up. You've been recruited. Uh, we talked about your, your recruitment last time and, and, uh, and, and sort of how that happened. Um, and and, and you, you, you've been, you, you know, it's, it's been almost a year. You've been adjusting. Um, you have, you have, you've experienced um, time displacement uh, a couple times each as you've gone um, on different, uh, uh, a, a few, a few different missions, uh, but only as sort of support. Uh, it was more to sort of get you accustomed to the procedures and the, um, you know, just, just going through the process of displacement, which is, like I said, you know, painful is like, uh, again, described as being put on fire and, and being, uh, have the fire put out with a nail gun. <laughs> it, is, it is it is it is unpleasant in the extreme um but 
you live on you live uh, you know as on campus on campus as they say uh, in, in a very nice uh, very nice house in this sort of gated community that's you know out in the middle of nowhere near the you know is on as part of the the TimeWorks facility um, in Western Massachusetts and uh, um, you've had the opportunity to perhaps you know go on a few forays out into the you know out into the world. Uh, supervised because again you're you're still so, you're sort of coping with uh, and making and you know being in the here and now. But uh, finally, word comes in one morning that you're 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 both to be sent on a on your first solo assignment. Um, and when you talk to your your handler, uh, he 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 sort of sits you down. He's he's been. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's been sort of with you through the whole process, um, um, and he uh, uh, he brings you into one of the briefing rooms that you've been in before for some of your tests and some of the updates of not, not updates uh, uh, some of the training uh, programs you've been through, uh, watching videos, reading <laughs> reading reports, that kind of thing, and. Uh, um, he says, uh, "Well, it looks like we have uh, looks like we have your first assignment. We've uh, the higher ups have decided that uh, we've got we've, we've got something uh, uh, pretty straightforward for you. It's uh, uh, fortunately there's little little chance of any major uh, major problems, um, and uh, we thought it'd be a, a fair fair cakewalk if you if you know what I mean." Um, uh, do they still say that now? I think so. Jack, so, yeah. Oh, Jack will go. Woof, 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 woof. Let the big dog off the chain. We're ready. Come on, let us off the chain. I just—he'll reach over for that flask and he'll open it on up, and he'll just smells like victory to me. Cap it off. You're mine when I get back. And puts it back into. The oh, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Um, I believe uh, the cake cakewalk is is more than apt. It be that's fine. We can. We, that's a fine <laughs> term. We that's all right. We, I I get the I, I get it. I know. So yeah, I think I've heard it a few times around here. So it's okay. Uh, it's 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 okay, Mortimer. Just it's fine. Um. So and he he, put, he puts down some folders and and uh, and and on, and on the screen up behind him he uh, uh, he fly he flashes up an image. Um, he says, uh, "This here is the uh, the Eden train wreck. Uh, took place in Colorado uh, back in 04, uh, 1904. Sorry." Um, August seventh. Um, that's uh, that was the number eleven Missouri Pacific Flyer, um, going from uh, uh, Denver, Colorado, to St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, it was crossing uh, the Dry, Key, Dry, Dry Creek uh, Arroyo Bridge near Eden Station, about eight miles north of Pueblo, Colorado. Don't look uh, too dry to me. Uh, it's not now, or or wasn't then? I should say. Well, as as the engine crossed the bridge, there was a flash flood that passed, and uh, it it wiped out the trestle, um, shearing off the front half of the train, dragging uh, ninety seven people to their deaths, with fourteen more missing. Uh, it was a big deal at the time. Uh, now, obviously, you're not going to be stopping that. Don't don't even get that idea in your head. Uh, but uh, we've had why not. Uh, uh, refer to document 805-3, uh, please. Um, that's why. <laughs> uh, no, that would be uh, that, 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 that would be a, that would be a bit much, bit, bit much, bit too much stress on the on the on the time on the time stream there. No, uh, actually, we've been hired by uh, uh, by an unnamed individual uh, to recover the Florentine diamond. Um, and uh, he uh, 
clicks he clicks again and you see this this other image come up on the screen uh, the, uh, uh, Flo- the Florentine diamond uh, uh, weighed about uh, uh, 137 carats it was, a, it was a pretty big deal at the time went missing about 01 and uh, so we got to uh, steal it uh, well we like to think of it as recovery um, uh, at this point, at this point, it's temporal salvage. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, it kind of it kind of kind of kind of makes the uh, the uh, the hope diamond look like uh, uh, look like cubic zirconia. It's worth about five, it, it, uh, in today's dollars, worth about five hundred million. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest. Dollar values has holds no context for me anymore ever since it's uh okay you could buy a small country okay that that works better <laughs> um this uh originally uh originally made in, uh believed to have been made in, in, uh, uh found and cut in india once belonged to the duke of burgundy yada yada but uh some of its history is fairly uh fairly murky but uh no one knew what happened to it uh as of 1901 however our client has come into possession of a letter that discusses a transaction between um the seller and buyer of this diamond um the unnamed seller indicated that he would be on the number 11 missouri pacific flyer on august on august 7th 1904 and uh that transaction would take place in Kansas City at a hotel near the train station. Of course, the train never arrived, and the, the diamond was uh, uh, the diamond was is presu- was presumably lost. Um, so, what we're going to have you do is you're going to be boarding the train in Denver. So that's the uh, uh, we know that it, we know where it was during that time period, at least according to this this letter, which we. We, we've we've had our people examine it and uh, and go over it, and it seems uh, it seems legit at least uh, uh, based on what we know. Where uh, on the where on the train is it supposed to be being housed? We, we have no idea. Remember this this was an this was a, this was this was a uh, a you know kind of a dodgy under the table sort of uh, deal okay. So it may, it's so not it's most it likely not in the freight not in the freight car. Yeah, yeah, it's it. it no, no. Presumably, no one else knew it was on board except the uh, the seller. Uh, you'll have about ten hours to locate it. It's ten hours from Denver to the crash site, um, so you have ten hours to find it, acquire it, and signal for extraction. Okay. okay. Uh, about the only thing we know about the seller is that they were a white male American, and that they had the initial CF. Now we look through the we look through the passenger roster of the. Uh, uh, of that train, and uh, th- there was no one matching those initials. So he was either um, uh, he either came on without a ticket, or uh, he's riding under a pseudonym. We're assuming the latter. I mean, if he's smuggling an expensive diamond, he's not going to risk, you know, getting pinched by the, uh, um, you know, by the by the train police. Okay. C F. Charles Florentine. No, sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, it could stand for anything. You have no idea. Uh, you know. Fucker. Sorry. <laughs> Carl Fudrucker. Yeah, I know him. He was at one of those rallies I went and I had to break it up before. <laughs> Terrible day. Hey. We're going to. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna drop you off in uh, in Denver uh, in uh, uh, 1904. We'll get you as close to uh, we'll get you as close to August 7th as we can. Uh, should be within a week um, until the train leaves. Just lay low. Um, we'll get you. Uh, uh, we'll get we'll get you we'll get you prepped out in all your appropriate clothing, money. Uh, the basics shouldn't you shouldn't you shouldn't need any any serious tech although uh he he looks through uh uh 
Jack, you you can you can pick locks, right? Well, he, he you know it, uh, it it I can go ahead and uh, enter areas that uh, seem to be at first glance locked. <laughs> Jack, this is this is time works. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're outside it's, the bounds of law at this point. Oh yeah, never outside the bounds of law. Um, well, the problem is, is depending on which time frame you're in, the change change to the laws. I mean, some of the the the, the current you know uh, cities where you know guns are 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 you know free to just carry around. You uh, they're in they're in the old west. You you couldn't you couldn't even bring it into town. You had to surrender to the sheriff. So I mean, only in those which law do you follow? Only in those weak back towns. No, with all, Denver, the, in fact, with all those towns. With all those preppies there. No, my my point being is Denver is one of those. Denver used to be a town where you had to hand in your gun as you walked into town, and now you can just carry a, a, a assault rifle on your back, and that's perfectly okay. And your point? Your point being is law is flexible. So, and since we exist in a time frame that is is you know experiencing all of the times at all at once we might as well be outside of the law because otherwise how do you follow both sets of laws when they're contradictory uh we've we got to follow the laws that we have inside us if nothing else fair uh just to clarify you need you just need to do your job and, <laughs> and, 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 and today and and uh uh it, you know you've been so go, you've been sobering go. jack up some so he's getting back <laughs> back towards his uh, uh, at least on uh, at least on august 7th 1904 you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be stealing a diamond now <laughs> um, uh they'll they'll he says uh they'll give you a list to look over of uh, uh, of survivors, um, he says. Uh, honestly, we we don't uh, we don't care what happens to the dead or missing, um, but these pe- these people survived. That needs that needs to that needs to be a thing when you guys are done. Uh, we really don't want to have to reset this. Uh, <laughs> um, and and honestly, for your for your for your for, for your first outing. It would be great if it'd be great for me and for you if you could make this look really good. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right, avoid wholesale slaughter. Got it. Exactly. Um, now, keep in mind this is the uh, early 1900s. Try to avoid, uh, uh, you know, uh, later 20th century colloquialisms. You know, we've talked about this in our briefings. You know what i'm talking about just uh you know uh, in fact you know you want you want to you, be, you basically want to be uh uh inconspicuous as much right. as you can so do we have the name of the buyer no you have initials oh the buyer no 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 um that that is uh that is the time works does not give you that what about a descri- what about a description of the buy- of buyer? Well, the buyer the, you're not going to see the buyer. Yeah. Uh, the, the buyers the, the buyer is supposed to meet the train in Kansas City and the train never made it. So the the buyer does not play into this. You're 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 looking for the seller. Uh, and like I said all you know about him is uh, his initials are CF. He's a white male um, probably likely American. So that's uh, not a lot to go by, but welcome to TimeWorks. <laughs> um, that's uh, I uh, I've tried to get them to make that our motto. They ain't having it. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so yeah, we'll 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 get we'll get you standard lock picks. Um, we'll get if you uh, if you if you if you feel better with a gun, Jack, we'll get you one. 
uh, some, something, something. Period. Oh yeah, uh, I'd feel a lot better with a couple of gums. Hey, you, you uh, got. We'll get you, you. We'll get you one. You, you get. You got a nice, a a, a nice uh, Smith and Wesson, forty four mag auto. Uh, those didn't come along too much later, I'm afraid. I just saw them just, what, a year and a half ago. Yeah, but you didn't, you didn't, you didn't see them 100 years ago. Oh, what's 100 which is years? Where, which, is where you, which is where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just you, the, the, uh, uh, the uh, um, what do you call it, the, uh, um, forget, the forget the name. Um, the the the, the ones the ones with handle gear, what were they what they call it? Uh, uh, quartermaster. quartermaster, quartermaster, yeah. He says, uh, "Look, quartermaster knows where you're going. You'll get, you'll get, you'll you'll get whatever you'll get the appropriate uh, clothing and uh, and materials to go. Just uh, if you need have any personal requests, check with him. Now look, I know, I know this is, I know this is a tough one. Uh, being your first." Solo, just uh, yeah, just relax. Think of it. Think of it as a. Think of it as a video. G- no, um, <laughs> think of it as. Think of it as a dime novel. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. and 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 uh, you get to. So I can. You get you get to play with the plot a little bit. So I can. Uh, I can go ahead and have myself a set of chaps, a big old hat, ten gallon. And uh, a nice vest and a shiny silver star. No, it's a oh. little late for that. Yeah, as I said, the quartermaster still have you covered. Um, oh, by the way, um, any 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 hands you a couple each couple pieces of paper. Um, he says, uh, uh, stri- uh Jack, uh. Your your cover is uh, you're going to be Harold B. Page uh, from Denver, and uh, uh, well, let's see here, Harold B. Page. And, what kind uh, of name is that? Uh, it's your cover name, and uh, and Mortimer, uh, you're going to be Jesse Gray, uh, both also of Denver. Is that a G R A Y or G R E Y? A Y. Okay. Um, uh, and and again, it should be pretty straightforward. This is a. Uh, uh, you'd have to try really hard to mess this up. So. Uh, uh, yeah, just just don't do that. Uh, <laughs> It wouldn't uh, wouldn't look good for me. Again, we'll do our best. <laughs> yeah, I know you will. He kind of gives you a, a slap on the back. Ow! Yeah, <laughs> he says, uh, "All right, go talk to go talk to the quartermaster. Um, if you want, uh, if you want uh, any any uh, any local train, you know, any uh, period cultural training." You can talk talk to him about that too. Look at your setup. Um, hey, and have fun. It's uh, supposed to be a nice train. Kind of jealous, they, really. They serve refreshments on this train, or do you got to bring oh, a bag you, lunch? Oh, you kidding? These uh, he he kind of he kind of fishes through the the folder, um, and says. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here's here's a here's a pic here's a picture of, of one of the cars here. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oh, what are our uh, what of our tic- what do our tickets say? We do we got a sleeper? Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, you won't have time. You you're only you're only gonna be on ten hours, or uh, or you'll be uh, mentioned in the history books. Uh, one of the two. I can Either be way, fam- I, I, I can right. be famous. Uh, I said history books, not famous. <laughs> um, but uh, 
yeah, so uh, yeah, they they have uh, dining cars, uh, they have a salon, uh, sleeping cars. Um, what else? Yeah, you'll, you'll find out when you get there. It's a uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty swank. That means uh, real pretty. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, good news is trains only going to be traveling about uh, ten or fifteen miles per hour. So if you uh, you should fall off, something like Top that. Top ten roll. Yeah, you probably you probably be fine. Um, let's hope that doesn't happen. That's gonna that 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 that'll, that could trigger a reset. We don't have to do that again. Again, wouldn't look good for your first uh, your first time out. Anyway, good luck. And uh, he uh, gets papers together and, and steps out. And uh, uh, sends you out to the quartermaster. Hmm. All righty. Um. Yeah, uh, look, looking through some of looking oh, some of the uh, <clears throat> looking through some of the uh, um, the materials there. Uh, I mean, there, there's there's a, there's a lot of material that you can kind of look through. Um, a lot of them are just news reports from the time period. Talked about how um, tr- the train was uh, was was instructed to go slow because they were concerned about washouts and uh, the uh, that there were some heavy thunderstorms to the north that. Uh, that ended up, you know, causing this, you know, massive flash flood that came down and ended up, you know, wiping out the train and the bridge. Just kind of going going through it all, um, you know, you you, f- you find, uh, you know, reports about um, like there's an interview with a woman who was on, who was on the train that night and talks about her descriptions of it and, um, yeah, was she good looking? Uh, it doesn't it doesn't say? <laughs> yeah. There is no indication. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot, lots of stories of, of tragedy. The few the the few the few who survived. Um, let's see, one, two, three, about maybe thirty survivors or so. Hmm. But uh, a lot more dead. I've memorized the list already. We're missing. Good. <laughs> Total recall. Excellent. So you've got it on the list. Um, That's right. Yeah. yeah. Now, now the list. The list. The list is is Nessa is uh, is Nessa is just is a little on the uh, details are on the sparse side, you know. And pe- people gave names and where they were from, but you, you don't get a lot of details because, you know, it's 1904 and. You know, they just didn't need to. Don't worry so, about know. it, little girl. You're going to die in a few hours. Sit down and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, for a second, then I thought that was like in character and like you're, he was just hallucinating for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That could, ha- that could happen. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so you guys. Well, that uh, was in character. <laughs> He's saying that the practice is lying. So. The madman. <laughs> I, I, I saw. I saw. For some reason, expect to be slightly more compassionate towards small children, but you know. Well, yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> He's a realist at heart. See though. All right, so you guys, you guys go to the quartermaster, and uh, yeah. He's this, uh, you know. Uh, balding sort of Teutonic figure with uh, round glasses and uh, um, a long blue coat and uh, says uh, yes you're here for the, uh, the Eden train wreck yeah what do you got for us Q that's not my name in fact uh, you don't know my name so don't ask that's alright I'll just call you Q I remember this uh, new movie that came on out. They had this fancy dude doing the same thing you're doing. His name was Q. You think that maybe it was just short for Quartermaster? It could be. I don't know. 
this. Too. But, but man, but, but, this uh, this guy but, but, this guy had a funny accent. Perhaps I should perhaps I will talk to him instead. Uh, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Um, Mr. Wilmot. Uh, yes, uh, um, we have your, we have your measurements on file, of course. Uh, <laughs> here here is your suit, and uh, mm-hmm. he, ha- he hands the suit over to you, and. Uh, uh, he, he he hands us a, a similar looking suit, not, not not exactly the same, but you know, same cut, same kind of you know, same time period. What's um, it made out of? Uh, it is uh, a, a wool blend with uh, 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 cotton. It's uh, yeah, typical of the time. Does right. it come with spats? Uh, only if you spat on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that's charming. You'll you'll fit right in. Um, it is uh, you have uh, uh, over there. You ha- you have a bag. Uh, you have uh, a pocket watch. Uh, uh, other 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 sundry share wallets, which have uh, which have uh, the appropriate amount of cash, as as indicated by your mission briefing. Um, uh, Mister uh, Mister Strider, you have uh, been provided with. Uh, a, uh, a firearm and uh, uh, currently unloaded. And uh, <laughs> where's the bullets? Uh, you will get those uh, just prior to uh, displacement. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, here is, uh, and, he, and he rolls out this little leather roll of, of, of lock picks. He says, uh, uh, it, "It's it's a, a full set appropriate for the time period." Materials, uh, alloys, and such. So uh, nothing, uh, nothing anomalous. And he rolls back up and tucks it into the into the pocket of the jacket. Um, says, uh, uh, "You should be fine as uh, as vice." Um, oh, here's uh, here's your itinerary maps of uh, of the area, so you can find your hotel, uh, train station. Uh, make sure you're on, make sure you're at the train at least. Uh, half an hour before departure, which is 3 p.m. sharp. Our tickets are first class, right? Of course. We also we all, uh, we we need to, we we need to give you access to anywhere on the train you need to go. Um, uh, you'll notice that uh, um, uh, we have uh, we have we have provided you with uh, enough cash to spend on your on your hotel plus. The, uh, the uh, any money you might spend on the train. Uh, I have been uh, I've been struck to remind you that uh, um, the uh, the bar is uh, is off limits to you, Mister Strider. Apart from uh, uh, passing through, of course, as you must. Um, and uh, that's gonna make me look like I'm uh, some little. Fresh flower daisy. I'm sure that won't be the case. Uh, I don't think anyone could possibly think that of you. Some dandy walking around. Oh my. Well, in theory, we won't be there long enough for them to make that connection. So, hopefully not. Um, is there anything else you you would uh, you wish to have? Uh, I can see what we can get. Uh, obviously, it must be time appropriate. Uh, but uh, this uh, this uh, particular mission does not uh, warrant any uh, ah. bending of the rules. But, uh, can I get a, a nice walking stick? Yes, I'm sure we could arrange that. Yeah, yeah. Um, just a uh, simple. Uh, yeah, style uh, a style sure, that like. Sure. Uh, what I used to watch on Saturday mornings with Bat Masterson. Yeah. Well, I don't know about uh, this Bat Masterson, but... Uh, uh, he was a he, lawman. I'm, I'm sure he was. Uh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, this is the front desk. Uh, we need the walking stick. Uh, how, how tall are you, Mr. Strider? Oh, I know I got it here someplace. 
<laughs> well, you could just say he told him, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so, so, yes. Uh, uh, oh, his, uh, it's over here in my notes. I think. It, no, you know what? I didn't put that down. That's okay. He 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 he, he, he tells him over the over the, uh, the 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 intercom, and uh, just uh, it it will be waiting for you uh, in in the changing room. Is there anything else? In the change room, these these fancy britches you got here. Uh, do you need do you need instructions to, to put them on? What? No, but I'm wonder. I'm going to ask. You, you know, um, I don't want to offend you, but you know, some men are bigger than I mean, others. Is there a lot of uh, is there a lot of crotch space in there? And Jack's going to reach on down and pull pull his britches down around his nuts and shake them. See. These are big ones. They need a lot of room to breathe. I'm sure there's plenty of breathing room in your crotch. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this. Um, <laughs> um, so, the changing room. Now go. <laughs> Hey Q, you have a good day. We uh, when we get back, we bring this stuff back to you. Uh, no, you 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 will be met at this at the displacement chamber. But uh, I'm you're by your by your handler and anyone uh, else uh, who. Uh, we get back. We'll have to have, sit down and tell stories and have a good drink. <laughs> I I think not. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 pulls, he pulls the door shut. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you go. You go back into the into the into the the, the this kind of a locker room, and uh, uh, you see uh, a guy. I got uh, one of the technicians come in with a uh, uh, who, who, who who ordered the walking cane. Right here, mister. All right, there you go. Well, thank you. You're almost uh, handy to have around here. I hope they pay you enough. I uh, get by. You guys, uh, good luck. And uh, uh, You don't need luck when you're as pretty as me. Uh, are either you guys uh, smokers? Of what? <laughs> That'd be a no then. Uh, how how about you there? Uh, 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 every now and then, I do like to partake in a, a little bit of a tobacco. Uh, sometimes it is cigarettes. Uh, sometimes it is pipe. I do tend to stay away from cigars. They're a little bit too much for me. Well, if you want, we can get you. Uh, we we mm-hmm. have, we have something uh, something that's uh, time appropriate. We can get to you. No, oh, I'm not, not, not quite. Uh, to that level of addiction, I, I should be fine without. However, right. um, the quartermaster seemed to be a uh, right might irritated before he took off. Um, <laughs> could I possibly get a straight razor shaving kit as well as uh, possibly a, a handgun for myself? Yeah, sure thing. I appreciate it. Um, I'll put it. I'll put it in your uh, in your suitcase. Thank you very much. You don't smoke none of that funny tobacco, that uh, wacky tobacco. No. I see those young kids out on the uh, lawn uh, in Washington, D.C., token on some of that. They lose a kind of grip. <clears throat> they always holler and make love, not war. Yes, well, there was that whole reefer madness thing, but I knew that was bullshit <laughs> when it first came out, so... So, They'd hand, they were handing out uh, these uh, sugar cubes, too, all the way around. Uh, I, I don't know why they like sugar so much. Um, uh, that is strange. <laughs> Either way. Uh, yeah, it gets so you, changed. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, get, you get in your suits. Um, and again, time appropriate. Um, you are... Uh, you have you have a, a bowler hat, um, and 
you know, uh, matches the suit. Your shoes are, are fine. Um, they uh, <clears throat> they come in a short time later with each with a, uh, a typical like leather brown suitcase. Um, they they both of them look like they're they're um, they're not too old, but they definitely they definitely look a little beat up. There's a, there's a, there's a few uh, um, custom stickers on them uh, from from yeah, other other travels you may you may have uh, you may have done. And uh, he says, uh, "Well, there you go. Should uh, should uh, should do your, your shaving kits in there. Um, you got a uh, you got a thirty eight in there. Should do should do you fine. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, uh, it's a little uh, little two shot Derringer model. Hmm. That nah, uh, should be fine for this mission." Yeah, yeah. Find find it, find it something a little manageable is, uh, uh, on the tricky side, but uh, you know we we got we got a pretty good uh, pretty good supply back there. We'd send another group into this time period and uh, and stock up on some of the things we uh, we're running low on. Well, uh, let's see if anything else you need. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be just in the other room uh, 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 fill out my paperwork. And uh, I think they're expecting you in the displacement room in about uh, about half an hour. So good luck to you. Uh, I also want to point out that uh, Mortimer has a beard. Okay. He clearly doesn't shave. Okay. <laughs> Fair, enough. Fair enough. He literally just wanted a, 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 some sort of blade. Uh, so okay. just let's peek behind the curtain. He wanted a blade in case he okay. needed to defend himself with a blade. Sure. But it needed to be innocuous enough to where like nobody's going to question it if he's holding it. You know, or if he's like—I mean, honestly, the, 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 this, this, there's not there's not like a TSA in, in this time in it. In no, it's uh, it's like his <laughs> yeah. his own little personal paranoia yeah. a little bit. He's like, mm-hmm. I need something that's innocuous enough to where it's not going to raise too many questions if right, I'm right. carrying it. However, I still would like a you know a weapon if need be. So, and being from the fifties, you know, I I think they it wasn't. A huge thing back then, I believe. I think straight razors were still around. Yes, they were. Oh, yeah. Pretty predominant, so he knows how to use it if need be. Sure. But yeah. they're, well, in fact, I mean, they're, they're still they're, around. Well, yeah, I, mean, this, I use this one every would... now and then. I have one. So uh, I, mean, this I guy haven't used it in a while. But <laughs> I mean, this guy wouldn't think anything of it anyway because even if you have a beard, you could still use it for like you know for trimming and and you know the other right. side and you know making it neat. Which is pretty much what i use mine for anyway so yeah the upside is the displays disposable blades is kind of convenient but mm-hmm. well jack would uh tell you i am your weapon i uh, well what if we split up <laughs> then, it su- uh, then it sucks to be you Right, which is why I need something to defend myself just a little bit. And I mean, hopefully, I don't have to use them. You know, I really, really don't feel like I should. I, I don't want to hurt anybody or kill anybody, but I do value my existence over most other people. Well, at least you're not going for those new fangled safety razors that they just come out with. Mm-hmm. I. I no, no. I mean, I, they're made out. They're made out of plastic. No, that's probably uh, some, just a, some company named Bic. Mm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. I think I remember reading about them. But either way, it's just straight razor works perfectly fine. Just you know, yeah. I, I don't see the point of like you know making razors safe. It's like it's it's a razor. It's meant to be sharp, and you know you you learn from using it. You know how to use it properly so you don't cut yourself and. You know, it's just, if you just make things easy for everybody, it's like, well, you know, there's the, nobody learns anything. Nobody learns from their mistakes. People just do things and then people forget. And then mistakes get made when those things aren't around. Yeah, it's hard to forget if you make a mistake and cut your thumb off. Yeah, it reminds you, sit there, you go try to pick up your cup and uh, it just feels funny in that hand. Mm-hmm. We should get going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Enough musings about the future. So, 
future. I thought we were going to the past. We're in the future. That was my point. <laughs> your, your future is in the past. <laughs> but the past will soon be your future. Anyway. Isn't this my anyway. present? <laughs> <laughs> Every moment is your present. <laughs> Um, all right, so you guys, you guys finish getting ready, grab your suitcases, and make your way to the uh, um, uh, make your way to the, dis- to the displacement engine. And uh, you've been, like I said, you've been here a few times before. You've you've been down here uh, when you were, you know, for you know, for your initial sort of um, orientation, and uh, uh, it you 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 struck you struck again by the by the the scale of this thing um and the the sense the sense of of um of of age associated with it as well like it it does it does it everything upstairs feels brand new you know like any place you go i mean it feels futuristic to you anyway because it is <laughs> but um but down here this 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 just you know part, parts of this just feel old um the machine itself is uh um you know it, it it takes up a large room um uh with heavy stone walls uh but it 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 definitely extends somewhere beyond that in, into other passages and so forth but uh <clears throat> there's there's a there's a a, a a metal walkway that lead that leads up to it um you have the technicians that 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 are always there um you have a doctor who kind of gives you a quick look over, um, gives you a, uh, do- double checks your records, make sure you have, you have a clean bill of health, you've had your, your inoculations, that sort of thing. And uh, you know, we don't want you starting a plague in the past, right? Because <laughs> um, remember, the, uh, uh, the, the, the world has not yet experienced the H1N1 flu, which became the Spanish flu, which wiped out like millions. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to start that early. Nah. <laughs> uh, that doesn't start until, uh, till World War, till World War One at least. So you guys make your way to the, uh, yeah, up the steps, the metal kind of, you know, uh, grading steps. And, uh, Texan says, uh, for first time, uh, First time on your own. Well, you're gonna do fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, got everything here. They give you a quick look over, check your bags. Uh, oh, and uh, watch your yeah. hands, there, Mister. <laughs> Always. And he, he he hands he hands you a little a little uh, this little, this little uh, uh, cardboard box um, with. Uh, um, let's see. It was has it has twenty uh, uh, twenty four rounds of uh, of ammunition for you. Twenty four shells. Enough for uh, enough for four loads, basically. Uh, once uh, Jack gets the box of shells, he'll he'll open it up and take a handful and start loading in the pistol. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, Put the pistol in the holster. What kind of holster did they give him? Was it a shoulder or hip? I don't think. I don't think oh. they would have. Had, they wouldn't have had. They wouldn't have had shoulder ones back then. So, it's uh, it's it's probably probably a hip. Okay, he'll put put that back and then uh, in his uh, if he has a couple spare ones left from the handful, then he'll mm-hmm. put put them in his uh, suit jacket pocket. He says, uh, "Now we're, we've gotten pretty good at uh, at, at nailing the time, but um, it's uh, it's more of an art than a science. We'll we'll get you as we'll get you as close to uh, August seventh without overshooting. Um, so uh, just uh, well, you know the drill. Find out uh, find out when you are and uh, get yourself uh, situated in the uh, uh, in the hotel, like uh, in the in your uh, in your notes there." Uh, we'll send we'll send word to you if uh, if anything changes, but uh, should be good. How do you send word to us? Uh, well, 
T- time works as ways. Uh, probably, <laughs> pro- probably a telegram. Sounds about right. Well, we can we can just we can just send an agent to uh, um, to to a time before you got there. Send the telegram and then come back. It's pretty simple. Oh, and, uh, okay. and, we, and, and we we keep we keep we keep an eye on you by watching public records. Like uh, we they basically what they have is they have a list of casualties. Uh, on the train, you know, of, of of casualties, and they they have one that's outside the Faraday cage, um, basically, so they can they can monitor it, and if if your names appear as either dead or missing, they know to, they know to extract you. <laughs> um, uh, so. they, they 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 have an interesting they have interesting methods of of keeping an eye on on. On the, on the time travelers, because mm-hmm. remember, by the time, by their time, you've already done what you were going to do, right? And they just See, have to keep an eye for that. Jack now, after hearing that, is wondering inside his head: Are they watching me when I'm showering? <laughs> <laughs> Only when you're on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, shoulder holster was invented in the 1870s. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So if, if they, I'll, I'll leave it up to you then, whichever you, whichever Jack would prefer, because they, they they would uh, they would accommodate your your preference in that case. To be fair, though, I believe around that time period they're bulky, so it's not like oh, you would sure. be able to like hide it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he he's not worried so much about hiding, just knowing where he, where and how he has to grab. Right, right. So whatever whatever he's accustomed to. Yeah. Oh, uh, he'll he'll take the hip the hip holster. Sure. All right. Um, no problem. So, uh, you guys <laughs> step you guys step in the, uh, step into the displacement engine. Uh, they, they 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 roll a big heavy door behind you. <laughs> Let's uh, the, the this thunders boom as it closes, and you find yourselves in pitch dark for for a moment. Uh, you you hear you hear sort of this faint humming that begins to build, and it, you you more feel it in in your in your bones than actually hear it. It's very very sort of this low frequency sort of thing, and it builds, and then suddenly it's like the the air around you is, is shaking, um, and this is the worst part because you know it's coming, and then there's this bright flash of light, and that's when the pain hits. That's when you get this this kind of searing. Um, you know, and you're sure something went wrong in that moment. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like when you're throwing up that you you can't think of literally think of anything else while you're doing it. With that feeling um, coming, Jack's <clears throat> arm starts shaking, and he starts reaching, reflect, uh, reflect, reflexively mm-hmm. for his flask. Mm-hmm. And yeah. sure enough, boom! It hits. You get you get that sense of, of, of pain ripping through you, and it, 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 in, in, in in reality it only, it only lasts for moments. But um, you know when you when you're experiencing it, it feels much longer, and then it goes dark, and then your your feet so, sort of like you know, and, and again you, you've been tra- you've been trained to exper- expect this. Your feet drop about. You know, three inches when you land, so you kind of like prepare yourselves, and like, boom, so you kind of catch yourself as you hit. You know, and um, you immediately hit by fresh air that that, yeah. that comes around you. You can and hear crickets, um, crickets chirping. You can hear um, a, a horn of a of a of a of a of a of an older model car, <laughs> and. Uh, um, you can hear the clop, clip clops of horses, uh, and the the creak of wheels as you as you start looking around. And uh, finally, as your eyes adjust, you see you, you're standing you're standing on a uh, in an alley um, of this uh, uh, a street in what looks to be 1904. The uh, uh, this is there's a slight drizzle in the air. It's warm. Uh, <clears throat> not as uh, not hot, but definitely uh, 
uh, it's 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 uh, a little humid out, uh, especially with the this sort of misty drizzle uh, falling, and uh, uh, you can see this, you can see street lights out in uh, uh, just out beyond the alleyway, and you see uh, uh, you see you see a couple of horses go by, people walking past. Uh, so it's not too late at night, you don't think? And you hear the honk, honk, and the of, a, of, a, of an older model car uh, kind of uh, go by. Jack makes that sound, uh, sound that he made earlier. I thought we were already there. And uh, where he's retching his gut, throwing the air forward from pockets, goes down to one knee, drops his, uh, his satchel, and uh, and then shakily, with the walking stick, pulls himself back up and says, I never felt a hangover quite like this. Hmm. It's like when they do that test. You remember when we were there, they did that test for the glaucoma? You know it's coming, but you can't keep your eye open. <clears throat> no? Okay. Well, I guess that's just me. Glaucoma. Oh, that's where they go. That sus. Yeah. Yeah. That's so just like uh, one of my nephews blowing in my eye. Yeah. There's a, a, a voice behind you that says, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Right. Slowly turn around. <laughs> you see, you see, you see, you see this guy in, a, in kind of an old, you know, an old torn suit. Um, he's he's kind of he's kind of he's kind he's kind he's got like a, uh, a uh, uh, you know a, a piece of tar, a piece of like uh, canvas over his head, and 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 he kind of stands up, wrapping it over him, saying, hey, "Can you spare two bits, buddy?" Uh. Look, I, I, two bits. I, 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 I ain't eaten in a while. I could use. I could use two bits. You sure? It, it, yeah, honestly, it's. Uh, what did you just? Uh, what did you just see? Huh? I, I, I didn't see it. What do you mean? I, I was sleeping, and then uh, and I and I heard heard you guys talking and sleeping. I, I, huh? He, he's kind of looking back and forth between his. I, I didn't. I didn't see nothing. I didn't, I didn't see nothing at all. I I checked through the the money that we were given. Oh yeah. And <clears throat> try to put together what two bits is. <laughs> out of that. A quarter. Yeah. But uh, Jack, as he uh, as he sees the good doctor, being. Too generous and and Jack too, too used to street shills the shills and such uh, from his experience. He'll straighten on up and he'll stretch his arm out and with his uh, walking stick he'll throttle this guy on the head with the end of the walking stick just like Bat Masterson would do. I mean it. And and, and and he he kind he kind of like shields himself with the with the canvas, and he and he goes hobbling off down down the street. Harold 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 Harold. One of one of one of his shoe soles kind of flopping because it's falling off. Harold. He's no. running a scam. I, we're not under no waves. Remember, no waves. Not supposed to undercover. Play it cool. That's what anybody else would do is run him off. And they wouldn't beat him about the head and face with a cane. You could probably just uh, like, wave your cane at him and he would have ran away. Just if, if you beat him, he's likely to tell somebody, which means we've made more of an impact, which we're not supposed to do. Well, just, let's track him down and kill him then. No. <laughs> No, we don't have. He won't tell we, nobody then. We don't even know how close we are to the time. We gotta go see what date it is. Oh, you've got a point there. We should go find out how close we are to the departure. 
Well, we hear traffic out in front out in front there. Let's go see what's out on the main main street there. Maybe we can find a good bar and ask. Yes, maybe we could find a good bar to not drink at. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, uh, Mortimer turns around and then proceeds to walk out into the, the road and uh, try to see make, see if he can find like a, a paper boy or some somebody. Uh, get the date. It's, it's probably probably a little late for a paper boy, but you see you see some uh, uh, you know because you too many kids out at this time except. Uh, oh, it's late night. I for some reason it's not that late, but it's dark. Oh, okay. Well, let's it's find. Evening. So, you, but you see, you see some folks walking. Sunny, where's uh, where are the hotels around here and uh, and. Jack would be uh, scratching his head and trying to remember the data of uh, the hotel that they're supposed to stay at. Yeah, you see, you see a young man sort of uh, um, going to you. It's like uh, he, he, he's uh, he's had his has an umbrella, um, and uh, he's just uh, oh, hey, Mister, what's uh, what was that? Where's the uh, and he'll, uh, hotels at around here? What's the best one in, the, in town? Well, I don't, know, I don't know about the best, but the uh, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the the uh, the 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 Denver the Denver hotel is down that way. Is it now? Well, thank you, son, and. Uh, Jack a reach into his pocket and look for a dollar bill or a dollar <laughs> coin. Uh, and you don't have to write a dollar coin, but you can. I mean, you'd have you could write a dollar bill, sure. And get and and give him uh, a dollar bill and tell him thanks for the info. His 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 his, uh, his eyes widen at that. It's like, whoa, yeah, thanks. Is there anything else I can do to help? You let me know. Well, yeah. Uh, we just got into town here, you know, and we've been walking about, got turned around, just wondering where maybe a, a fine establishment for sporting gentlemen uh, might be in this... Uh, Fine Hamlet. He can't kind of scratch his head. I'm not sure I get you. Sporting? Well, uh, you mean like baseball? Well, uh, where do the older gen uh, older gentlemen, the adults, go to to play billiards? Oh, a fine well, billiard parlor. They don't need to have a table, but it'd be handy. Like I, I, well, I guess you go to Max down the road. Uh, it's uh, if you go, he says points down there. Is uh, you go down that way, you take a left, and uh, a couple blocks down, you can see Max. That they're they're open pretty late. They got a uh, they got a good uh, a good clientele of uh, working girls. Um. Yeah, he he he's he's not, he's not real sure what you mean. It looks like. Okay. Not. Uh, Ladies of the night is what he's looking for. He's 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 still not he's still not getting it. He, Whores. He's, like, <laughs> he's still oh. it's under. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, I uh, I don't know nothing about that. I'm no. Uh, look, I, I get it going. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the money. Uh, bye. And he kind of excuses himself and like kind of uh, walks away uh, briskly. And Jack, I holler down there. Use that dollar wisely. Some of those working girls will put a smile on your face for that. 
<laughs> you see, you, you catch you catch a couple looks as uh, as he goes off some of the. Uh, you hear you hear at least one you know woman like oh, oh. yeah kind of a gasp <laughs> like my word yeah <laughs> oh like you haven't sold it Harold let's be on our way to this <laughs> next location and then see if maybe we can find right. more information about when we are yep sure <laughs> yeah so you you walk down the street. Um, uh, like I said, it's rain. The cobblestones are, are glistening. Um, uh, you don't see you don't see a lot of a lot of vehicles here. Uh, you see a few horses. Um, you know, but again, it's 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 later in the evening. You'd guess. Um, actually, you really, uh, look, you really look at our but... watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, actually, uh, well, actually, you have to re- you have to reset your pocket watch for for local time, so you got to find that out first. Um, I, I I tell you what, um, give me a, give me a both of you in perception rolls. Perception rolls. Yeah. Uh, what's my perception? Okay. Six, seven, eight. Three successes. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five successes. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. So, um, you guys are looking around, and uh, Wormwood, you you uh, uh, you ha- you happen to glance down down a side street, and, and when you crane your neck, uh, you see a uh, um, you can see through one of the windows a uh, a big old grandfather clock, in in uh, and uh, it it looks like it's um about uh. Uh, 7.30. No, actually, no, it'd be uh, probably 8.30. Mm. Um, and uh, I tell you what, with, 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 that, with that, I'll say that you, you're able to uh, um, uh, you uh, uh, you'll also actually, I'll, I'll, ha- I'll have uh, Jack find a, find a, uh, uh, a newspaper um uh in a uh um yeah kind of pushed up against a nearby building and uh, uh someone just discarded and uh it looks like you're it looks like you're only two days away so uh it is august uh fifth to well, pick up the paper, whether whole or partial, kind of show uh, Doc the uh, the paper and like that, and roll it up, put it under his arm, and I, maybe. Uh, I was gonna say I point out the clock to you, so that way you can sit your watch. Okay, and we'll get ourselves set up. Um, all right, so you guys uh, head down to the. Uh, are, you, are you going to the hotel first or to uh, this Max place? Maybe we ought to go to the hotel first. And since these bags get in the way if we go on into a, a, any kind of reputable gaming house. Yeah. Unless they're midgets and they need to stand on something. I don't think they are. Uh, no, I don't think we we, we should find out. <laughs> uh, and 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 do that. Take care of that. Take care. Do that. That voodoo that you do. <laughs> So, looking for the hotel. We had, do we have uh, reservations set up no. for us or no? No, 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 no. Okay. No, they, they, they can't set up reservations. <laughs> they can't really set up reservations through time. But. Uh, why not? I know, right? Uh, <laughs> if I mean, they well, can I, send I, us a telegram, why not? <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess they could. But uh, they didn't. It, 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 it wasn't, it wouldn't, they didn't think it was necessary. Um, they're testing us. That's what they're doing. 
that could very well be. Um, all right. Um, yeah. So you get you guys uh, go down the uh, go down the street and um, find uh, find the the, the uh, uh, Denver City Hotel. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, the the you know it's it's a it's a fairly nice looking place. Um, the uh, see people see people walking in and out, uh, fairly fairly well dressed. Um, I mean, you guys are dressed, you know, perfectly fine, of course, but uh, you know, um, <clears throat> so you go in and you see a beautiful you know beautiful carpet. Uh, it's a big fireplace on the back wall, which is which is uh, uh, currently not blazing, considering it's it's warmer out right now. But uh, um, there's a you know beautiful decorative grate over it. Uh, off to the uh, off to the right is the uh, the main desk, and you see some people sitting around in these big comfortable chairs. Um, uh, Jackie or I catches. Uh, uh, a few, a few gentlemen smoking cigars with, uh, uh, you know, holding a brandy, looking at the newspaper. Jack, uh, mm. go. It smells like good stuff. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um. <sighs> so go up but, to the counter. Yeah, says, uh, "May I help you?" Uh, yes, uh, two rooms for me and my partner here. Very good. Uh, he uh, he pull, pull, pulls out a book, opens it up, turns it around. It says, uh, sign here and here. That's, uh, uh, how much does it cost again? Lodging. Mortimer goes to sign, um, and then when he starts, he realizes he was just about to sign Doctor Mortimer, and then has <laughs> the thing where you like kind of try to make that letter into a different one to sign as Jesse Gray. Right, right, right. And he's not really the guy's not really paying attention. He's he's gone over and he's uh, he's unhooking a couple keys off the wall um, uh, for four hundred four and four hundred five. And he uh, brings them over and puts them down. Um, uh, will it just be the one night? Uh, two nights. Very good. Um, uh, then, uh, how much a night? Uh, Four dollars and fifty cents. Four dollars and fifty cents. Yes. Are you sure about these prices? He, look, he looks at you indignantly. It's like, I'm sure you could find someplace less expensive should you... Uh... I thought this was too cheap here. You must not be the best place in town. <clears throat> We're used to a, a, a lot uh, higher class. Than... How much money do we actually have? Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say you, pro you probably each have like a uh, hundred dollars on you. Oh God! Uh, yeah, I just pay the the nine dollars. <laughs> just <laughs> give them the nine bucks. Well, it's not. It'd be nine each, so eighteen dollars. Oh yeah. Well, I just I give them the eighteen dollars. Okay. Uh, very good, sir. Um, just to quash that hole. In <laughs> yeah. He's like, nope, yeah, he, we're not he, dealing with this. <laughs> Um, uh, should you need anything, uh, you can, uh, you can call down anytime. The front desk is always open. Um, uh, room service ends at, uh, uh, at 9 PM. Oh, what's, uh, and, and, be and begins again at, uh, at 7 AM. What, uh, what can you get on ro with room service? How ex extensive is the uh, 
menu. Well, I'm sure it's not as good as other hotels. However, um, we can uh, uh, we, we, we can we can we can provide uh, uh, dinners, uh, uh, home uh, you know, uh, fresh cooked meals, um, drinks, that sort of thing. Our, uh, our 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 kitchens are quite well uh, well stocked and and sufficient for you know, your needs. Okay, and do you do you offer a uh, a laundry service and a shoe shine? Yes, we do. Okay, <clears throat> how do we get in touch with? those individuals to have that done uh you would call down to the desk here and uh we will arrange and send someone up as you as you wish though uh, uh again that service uh would be ending we wouldn't be able to do anything like that until uh uh tomorrow morning it's uh it's rather late where's uh you got a bellboy he snaps his fingers, and you see, you see, you see a young man with a, you know, with the, the, the little round cap come over. It's like, uh, yes, sir. And uh, Jack, a hand, uh, hand him his uh, valise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, got, got it. Uh, uh, says, uh, you'll do all right. He says. Uh, Rooms 404, and he points to, you know, 404 and 405, uh, these two gentlemen. All right. Yes, sir. And he actually gets, uh, brings, brings the bag, bags over to a, uh, a little push cart and puts them on and says, uh, uh, this way, gentlemen. You follow. Uh, he'll, he'll lead you up to your, uh, up to your rooms. <clears throat> uh, place is very nice. Um, very well apportioned. Um, um, he uh, uh, shows you where everything is. Shows you the bathrooms, the the extensive closets, um, uh, the beds. So it's, it's all quite luxurious. And uh, he says, uh, uh, "We'll be uh, we'll be closing that room service soon, but we'll uh, be starting first thing in the morning." And uh, <clears throat> And, and, he, and he sort of stands there. Anything else you need? Yes. Can you, uh, you know anything about Max's place? Max's. I, I don't think so. No? All right. Just looking for a good gaming uh, hall. Hmm. But, uh, uh as he's saying that, Jack will reach in his pocket and flip out another dollar bill and, and okay. give it to the young lad and, and tell him, lift a few rocks here and there and then build those muscles so you're not uh, straining so hard with <laughs> such a valise. He says, uh, you're a good kid. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, name's Tom. Uh, we'll see you, uh, see you in the morning. Great, Tom. Uh, good night. Uh, good and night. We'll, uh, Remember, respect your mother and father. <laughs> They're gone. No. He <laughs> 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 no. He uh, he, he, he excuses himself and uh, and closes the door. Um, if you want, we can we can sort of you know if you want to hand wave these two days unless unless something you want to get done um, during this time period. Otherwise, you can you can you can enjoy the. Uh, um, you know the 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 one the wonders that uh, that uh, 1904 Denver Colorado has to offer. Yeah. Um, you know, um, um, there's only two things that uh, Jack would want to do. Mm -hmm. um, and in the morning when he uh, come on down <laughs> around breakfast time, he would uh, see about getting getting the a hotel page. And uh, giving them a dollar to go through, and uh, uh, you know, crying out, uh, Mr. CF, 
Mr. CF, message for Mr. CF. Okay, sure. Uh, as as far as that. Okay. And then the other thing that he would do is actually go over to Max. Uh, want to go over to Max's and uh, and and go on in the and say, is there a Mr. CF in around here? I heard he was the one to go ahead and uh, try to best on the table. Uh, and it wasn't Max. It was Max M A C. Okay, Max. Ma Ma Max M A C apostrophe S. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, he he. Uh, um uh yeah you you get there you get you get some yeah you get you get some puzzle looks and but no no uh no indication that there's that any of them recognize the initial you know you know anyone by the initial c f okay uh, just just trying to flush the grouse oh yeah nope i get that <clears throat> um and uh, and no no luck with no luck with the uh, um, with the uh, you know fishing around the hot with fishing around the hotel either. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, it was worth a shot. Um, what what about what about you, uh, um, uh, Mortimer? Oh, sorry. Um, I think he's. I think Doctor Mortimer is going to try to do something very similar, but he's going to take a much more. Um, Reserved approach. Um, sure. Except I'm not sure how, because there's no like sort of large database you can search. So, <laughs> well, he would have uh, had that in his own time anyway. Right, which uh, obviously would have turned up nothing, considering the time works themselves turned up nothing. Yeah. Um. I think he'll like just try to like. Oh man, I don't want to go about this. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, keep in mind, keep in mind that that uh, Denver is a pretty big city, even in this time period. Yeah. So, so it's not like you're gonna, you know, walk around. If you're out of CF, you know, and and, and I, flush I, anyone up necessarily. I think maybe he'll go to like the train station, sure, and probably find some like baggage handlers. Mm -hmm. You could also pre-buy your tickets just to make sure that you have them. So oh, then yeah, yeah I'll probably do that too. Okay, um, he'll probably like buy those tickets <clears throat> and um, maybe grease some baggage handlers' palms if they hear anything or see anything. You know, tangentially related. That's if they see or anything, see or hear of anything that's high value coming through. Okay, it, what the 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 baggage handlers? Yeah, yeah. Basically, you know, he's gonna look at like the the guys who make the least and see if he'll he'll grease their palms with a few bucks and say, hey, if you hear or see or of anything, you know. That's like particularly interesting, quote unquote. You know, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, well, well now keep 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 in mind that the, that the diamond you're looking for mm -hmm. is, uh, um, it's it's only about like a, an an inch and a quarter by about an inch by about three quarters of an inch. You know, so it's it's a it's it's, it's massive for for a diamond of that type, but it's it's not huge. You know what I'm saying? So this this, oh. this could this could this could be smuggled like in a pocket or, you know, uh, yeah, a small pouch or you know I mean it's it's not like uh, the, the, this could be carried on one's person e easily. Yeah, and then, inside you know, the hat band of uh, a bowler or something. Right. Sure, right. but you know uh, he's basically covering his bases. He doesn't know oh, no, that's if that's if that's you know that's an option. But they could also yeah. maybe like. Throw it in a very secure case or something like that, or like he, uh, yeah, I, know, I understand. So like yeah. a, like a big a lock box or a small safe or something. Or they yeah. caught or they caught a view of it indirectly or something. Right. Something like he he's just like I said trying to cover all of his bases. Yeah. Hopefully it's not in a prison wallet, but you know. 
<laughs> you never know. That'll hurt going in and out. <laughs> oh, no, it's kind of rounding. Yeah. It's still got those real sharp points. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it does. Uh, just uh, refresh my memory. It basically looks like this. Yeah, yeah. the, the sharp points yeah. would not be comfortable. Those are going to cut you. <laughs> um, but uh, You seen the running man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't swallow that one. <laughs> um, yeah, you'd have to you have to you have to put something around that. Um, but even then, that would not be comfortable. Bacon anyway. grease. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> Does it taste uh, good? Uh, mm, the bacon make it uh, make it slide easy. Mm, the bacon diamond. <laughs> um. The best diamond in the world, bacon. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, yeah, they, they they take your money, of course, and, and they'll say, uh, yeah, 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 sure thing, Mister. We'll uh, we'll keep an eye out for any kind of strange packages or whatever. Uh, uh, where should where should we contact you if we see, if we see it? Uh, you know, if you don't see me on the platform, you know, just uh, the the uh, Denver Hotel. Sure thing. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, they'll, they'll do that. Um, the tickets, by the way, are, are $3 a piece. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, they, uh, I mean, they're, they're not going to start loading bags on there until the day of anyway. But like I said, the, the train leaves uh, at 3 p.m. Um, so you, uh, uh, you still you still have plenty of time, um, but uh, yeah, I mean the your, your your experience thus far is 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 pretty comfortable. Um, you've had, you, you've been given enough money to sort of um, have a have a little bit of of luxury. The food tastes very different than than, than you're accustomed to, and and I mean you, I would say you're you're probably more accustomed to it, or at least closer to it there. Uh, uh, Mortimer, because it's a little closer to your time period. Yeah, you know, it's only it's only about thirty years difference versus uh, no forty years. About oh, forty years difference, yeah. Yeah. So it's only about forty years difference versus seventy years difference for <laughs> for uh, your partner. Right. Um, <clears throat> yeah. In the seventies, they really started to go crazy with like artificial ingredients and coloring and all that kind of fun stuff to yeah the twinkie the ring ding that's boom it. pies yep complex <laughs> sugars <laughs> all that all that fun stuff uh prior to that yeah you, you you had definitely different uh different different foods coming about um and in fact uh, hungry man tv dinners <laughs> yeah no tv dinners no tv <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, all you got is uh you know, you got newspapers and uh radio. Snail mail. You're probably lucky if you got a radio in 1904. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, they actually wouldn't have yeah, you wouldn't have radio. Um <clears throat> yeah, so newspaper. <laughs> Telegraph you know, books. Uh, Denver does have a have a have a library. You can always uh, um, visit and um, you know partake of uh, of their of their reading if you were just want to pass the time. Um, they got a great book up there. Librarians Gone Wild. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious of. Uh, oh crap. If, if they had a, a, a 1904 uh, hotel menu, see the kind of stuff they have. Yeah, like, uh, okay, yeah, like, as, as an example, um, this, oh, wow, holy shit. I, I just pulled one up at random, and it's uh, from Denver, Colorado. <laughs> Good. It's, it's pretty funny. Um, Time uh, works in action. November, November 19th, 1904. Um, hmm. Wow. That's that's pretty startling. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, do, 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 uh, do, 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 do. Cream of tomatoes with celery, boiled lake trout, p- 
parsley sauce, potatoes, um, chicken saute, roast lamb, mint sauce, mashed potatoes, stewed oyster plant. Yeah, oyster plant. Or piant. Maybe it's, I had to talk about the printing, the, the menu's kind of, kind of ready. Lettuce salad, New York ice cream, cheese, toasted crackers, and coffee. Uh, all water used in this hotel is from our artesian wells. No tables reserved for breakfast or luncheon uh, or for dinners after uh, 6.30. Smoking allowed in restaurant after 8 p.m. <clears throat> in fact, this is going to be the, the menu for the hotel. Da -da -da -da. Because meat and uh, potatoes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> meat and potatoes. I mean, this this could actually even be the hotel if we want to. Um, let me see here. Um, <laughs> it's an interesting. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, and there you go. <laughs> Although, it's an interesting name for a hotel, the Brown Palace. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that's that's odd. I hope they lean in on that palace part, not the brown part. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Can you imagine going to a place named that and it's like bad service? But look at <laughs> was it say about their food? Like, but yeah. the picture, yeah. uh, but the picture of it for that time period. Look at it. That's uh, that's a yep. pretty impressive uh, building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, definitely. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, and the Denver did have um did have like uh like trolleys and things like that. Um they weren't they weren't running when you guys arrived, but uh um Oh and look at that too. Um very cool. Uh, I, I I love researching stuff like this too because it's it's just a lot of fun. I always find some new do cool stuff. Yeah, um, adds some good flavor to the thing. Yep. Um, mm, toasted so yeah, crackers. So, so yeah, so they they don't have they don't have a huge selection. The the, the, the meals at the at the hotel are, you know, are are pretty uh, pretty simple like this, but uh, definitely not what you're accustomed to. But you do have a choice between. The boiled lake trout and chicken saute roast lamb for your entree. Um, this is this uh, this is I believe this is yeah this is pre um, yeah this this is this is this is pre uh, um, that's what I was looking for uh, pre prohibition so oh yeah you don't, you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> uh, it's, <sighs> right, it's right around the start of the industrial age in America. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> uh, all right. So, uh, comes comes the day of uh, of your of the train's departure, and uh, um, you guys can, uh, you know, you guys check. You guys can check out of your hotel before you go. Um, do you do you want to get to the uh, the train very early or? Um, I think Wormwood would definitely try to get there like an hour ahead of time. Okay. And so about so about, like, uh, about two o'clock. Yeah, and he's gonna try to uh, scope out as much as he can, like see if he can maybe spot a guy who's like I can suspicious enough to investigate or something like that okay uh, i assume jack you're going to, you're going with him the same time oh yeah i'll go with him the same time while uh the doc is doing that i'll try to use my uh uh street wise to pick up uh possible rumors of uh of um maybe a underworld notable entity that may be aboard or coming aboard. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, 
so where, where, are you, where are you going to sort of begin to look for, you know, the kind por- of- the por- uh, around the porters where they're uh, standing oh, I around. You. I got you. So you, you, you're going to see if they, if they sort of pick up on anyone, um, anyone noteworthy in, in the, I guess, in the <laughs> local. Well, the, the, you know, the, when they're around there waiting for the people to come, they're hanging there. It's like any service group that stands as uh, kind of stands around like that. They're, they're uh, mm-hmm. talking about the uh, things that they, that they've seen or that they, they heard sure, uh, sure. between each other and uh, trying to figure out who's going to be the, uh, the, the good tippers and the ones that are going to be cheap ass bastards. Okay, yeah. So you you're basically kind of looking for rumors or yeah. or, or you know uh, gossip. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, sure. Um, then how about uh, yeah? Give me a, give me streetwise. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. But I hope they're not the one uppers. You know, where they tell somebody tells a story and he's like, "Oh, you think that's bad?" Well, they might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see how we roll. We had it. We had it tough. Oh. That ain't bad at all. Out of out of a four, uh, I got mm-hmm. three successes. Nice. Okay. Um, so you you're you're listening to them, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, the only thing that the only thing that they really make note of is that um, uh, one one of them, one of them kind of complains to, to another one kind of off to the side because it's like. Um, oh, the car! The car front has uh, the 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 car the car the cousin front loaded with uh, with with uh, with mothers with little brats. How many? Oh, uh, at least <laughs> at least uh, at least a couple dozen, anyway. Uh, hmm. Damn it! Well, I'm glad I'm glad I don't have the uh, the front cars this time. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, complaining. Um, but uh, as far as any any notables go, now of course, uh, Mortimer, you have you have the list of of guests of of people who are who are on the train uh, memorized, right? Right, and it came with pictures. I would assume, correct? No. Oh well, that's almost, almost none. <laughs> well, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Well, yeah. Again, keep in mind. You know, did anyone take a picture when you got your ticket? <laughs> Fair. Uh, well, yeah, we, my my last my speedy uh, <laughs> the speedy pa- a passport thing that I went ahead uh, coming on back there. They got that little digital picture that uh, Homeland Security had for the federal employees. Uh, Hang on a second. But that's not fair to in this situation. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays they're taking pictures of you when you're picking your nose on the street corner waiting for the bus. Oh man, I hope so. <laughs> uh, a lot of, well, a lot of these cities with the closed circuit <laughs> TV cameras and what they're running nowadays, especially. Oh Lord help you in London. Mm. Yeah, in some areas, yeah. it's, it's definitely. Uh, definitely you gotta applaud safe. it to to London crim- criminals, man. The largest CCTV network, and yet criminals still get away with shit. Yep. Yep. And they they think outside the box and work the under undertales of the city. The sewers are their friend. All right. On on in the uh, in the Facebook chat, I just gave I just gave you a. Uh, okay. Um, well, this this is this is this is mainly for Mortimer because he he memorized them. This is the passenger oh, okay. list. Oh, okay. Then I won't even worry about it. This is the passenger list. Okay. Now it uh, the the now obviously this is this is your memory, so no no one can find this on you. But uh, it's it's broken up by uh, passengers known to be dead, uh, ones that are missing, presumed dead, and uh, and the survivors. Survivor list is significantly less than the others. <clears throat> but you can kind of, uh, at least for your reference, hmm. um, I mean, it may or may not help you, but uh, you know, you can you can go down. I mean, if let's put it this way, if 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 the list was were was able to give you anything 
you know, right right away. Uh, chances are the TimeWorks researchers would have would have picked up on it. Right. But it just wasn't. Uh, um. Yeah, it, just, it wasn't anything that they could suss out. <clears throat> Again, that's trouble. Further back you go, the 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 harder it is to to get any really good information. So anyway, you guys make it to the station, uh, two o'clock, and you see you see quite a few people already already getting there. There's a few people, few people waiting in the uh, um, the little sort of lounge off to the side. Um, and uh, you see porters, you know, gra- taking people's bags. Um, you can you can get your stuff loaded on right away once you show your tickets and, and that kind of thing. Um, board boarding isn't until two thirty at, at at the earliest, but uh, you're, you're welcome to get your bag checked in and and ready. Um, <clears throat> uh, or you can carry, or you can just carry it on with you if it's a because <clears throat> you guys just have smaller bags, so you guys could just carry them on if you wanted to. If you don't want to check them in. Um, and uh, yeah, so you see uh, quite a, quite a lot of people. Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, um, um, yeah, you, you you do see you do see a lot of women. Um, uh, a lot of them with children who are who are getting aboard the train. You see a uh, a significant number of uh, uh, of other people who are uh, and and it, there's there's quite a variety. There, there there are people who are clearly you know wealthier, um, not super rich, but certainly you know on the the well to do side. And then you have others that are um, you know clearly traveling you know third class kind of uh, or, or the or the railway equivalent. Um, but yeah, uh, you, you, you hear all the, the sounds and smells of, of, um, of a train station. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, uh, is there anything, what are you going to do while you're, while you're waiting? <sighs> Jack would, uh, just be, uh, perusing the, uh, the passengers as they're coming, mm-hmm. uh, both, uh, you know, the, the ones getting on, the ones uh, that are saying goodbye to them. He's looking for uh, people that would be acting a little bit more on the nervous or almost, almost uh, paranoid, not overly. Right. You know, not, not really constantly looking over their shoulder type uh, but ones that look like they're more of a uh, at least a medium level um, criminal that okay just uh, looking off to the side uh, being a little over observant of uh, get I tell you give me give me give me a, a streetwise roll okay actually uh, no uh, yes uh, actually give me a larceny roll Okay, that's even better. <laughs> this, 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 this is for because yeah, this is this is more knowledge about larceny. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which would kind of make more sense for this. <laughs> I got more dice, but it wasn't better for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> one success. Okay, out of uh, six and, die. And, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and remember too, you can you can take the average on things like this too. Well, yeah, um, but I, yeah. I right now I'm having fun roll, uh, rolling it, working these fine. skill sets. Yeah, um, yeah, you're uh, the one. The one thing. The one thing I will tell you that that you you're sort of thinking about as you're looking for this, you know, this individual is um, this. This is this is this is not a small thing to be moving. I mean, like I said, in in, in adjusted. In adjusted dollars, this 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 rock is worth you know half a billion dollars in your in in uh, in 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 twenty twenty. Yeah. So, uh, you know, 
it, it, it's it's still worth the equivalent of that in 1904. Um, so this is this is not like a, this is not some 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 you know junky pawning a, 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 a you know pawning a, a, a television or something in a you know something to 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 get money. This this the guy, whoever's doing this is probably relatively professional, and even if they're even even if they're a go between, you know no one you know uh, the the whoever is the real seller is not going to entrust it to just some schmo, you know, who's 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 nervous and jittery and and uh, you know looks like a <laughs> a thug, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I was saying like mid level or. Or above yeah. someone that had at least some sense and talent. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And you, and you know, he'll be he'll be probably you know a little on the difficult side to spot just just yep. on that note. But uh, yeah, uh, if you want to give me a perception roll though, and uh, I'll give you I'll give you a two for your uh, two two of the extra dice for your larceny since oh, you're kind of okay. looking since you're kind of looking for looking for someone dodgy. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, let's see here. That's a wee bit better. One, two, three, four successes. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm going to say that you 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 managed to spot at least um, at least five at least five. Uh, individuals who are who who you would put as um, as a, as more likely suspects, okay. uh, if, that, if that makes sense. Because yep. and, and for various reasons, um, maybe, maybe maybe they were they were alone with no one to see them off. Yeah, you know, could could be an, an indicator. Um, the fact that they. Um, you know, didn't have a lot of baggage. Um, uh, it might have been, you know, uh, something about the way they carried themselves. For whatever reason, you you you, you, pick, you picked out five individuals that uh, that you would say are, um, you know, possible. Um, uh, Jack would take note of the uh, porters. That mm-hmm. were assisting them. Sure. <clears throat> and w- once, uh, once he has a chance to talk to the porters after the they get done with their customer there. Yep. He'll ask 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 him, who was that? That looked like a fairly important individual. Um. Uh. He says, uh, "Well, uh, I, I n- never met him before. I mean, you, you, basically, none, none of these people are. The, the, if you do this for each of them, you're going you're to get the impression that none, none of them are, are are noteworthy to the porters, at least. Okay. Uh, you know, you're not going to get. Any, oh, that's 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 that, that, that that's R- R- Rocky Mill Falhoun. He's the yeah. a fa- the famous smuggler." Of gems, <laughs> he uh, Jack uh, little bitch, yeah. yeah. Jack would ask them if they had any markings uh, or monograms on their luggage, or on their like uh, handkerchief in their suit jacket. You, you, you're asking okay. the uh, the porter this, yeah. The porters, if they yeah, yeah. Uh, noticed that, and since they handled the bat, they would possibly handle the bag or see it be up close enough to have a chance to maybe okay. see something like that. Yeah. I mean, you, you get, a, you get a lot of, of, of variations on, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I didn't see, I didn't really get a close look. I got, look, I get a lot of people, pal. I gotta, yep. I gotta, okay. I gotta keep working. <laughs> they, yep. they, they're real, they, they're real busy. Yep. Um, That's all right. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you, 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 want, you want to give me a, if you want to give me a quick street, uh, street wise. Oh, okay. Um, um, I actually had a, a question. Yeah. So I have the uh, temporal braking with the specialization precog. Yep. Would there be a way for me to use that to see 
No, I guess not. Cause we don't know enough about what he looks like. Never mind. Okay. So my idea was like try to peek into the future in this area to see like when that guy gets on. But the problem is we have no idea what he looks like. All we know is that he's on this train. Right. And CF is somehow related. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, right. and, 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 and keep in mind that that, that, that ability is more like, more like spidey sense than, than it is like yeah. in the future. It's more like, uh, Hey, a pan is about to fall on your head. Oh crap! And you step aside, you know, like, right? That kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that puts it in better perspective. So, okay. Uh, Jack botched it. Okay. Uh, he didn't get even one success. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, you, you. you 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 actually piss a couple of them off, like, like, yeah, you know, they're, they're like, yeah, but, but, come on, I'm gonna get fired if I don't get these get these people loaded in. Just, uh, t- if you need if you need to talk 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 to, talk to the, uh, um, uh, talk to our boss. He's over there. And he points to points to this guy standing. He's, you see him directing some of the porters to load things on. Uh, big gruff looking guy, uh, a big square jaw. Um, looks like a no nonsense fella. Gets things done. You've seen people like him before. Oh yeah, Jack would go on over and 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 uh, start talking to him and say, "Hey, sorry about uh, slowing down a couple of your porters there. I know you're busy and, and like that, but uh, I want to tell you." You got a great staff here, and and, and everything. They they hardworking chaps, hardworking chaps, and uh, and like that, and fairly uh, observant. I was just hoping that I could find a friend of mine. Uh, I haven't seen him. Uh, I haven't seen I haven't seen him uh, since we were out out west in California. They're panning for gold, and yeah, it's been it's been probably about six years. And uh, I was just hoping that maybe uh, yeah, someone, uh, his his sister told me that he'd be coming on this train and uh, and and such. And uh, I thought I might be able to catch up with him and maybe have a drink and just trying to uh, track uh, track him down and see if see if your lads might have saw him. You wouldn't happen to saw him, would you? He carry uh, he he carries a, a monogram. Uh, in his uh, handkerchief, in his uh, pocket, and, uh, and and his luggage is mon- monogrammed with uh, the letter CF. Um, give me a. Um... <laughs> his his name's Clyde Franklin. Uh, <laughs> as as far as that, and uh, he 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 had better luck in. Uh, California and I did getting gold. He struck it a, l- a little bit better. We neither, we're no Rockefellers, but you, you, you're you're not sure how much he's actually listening to you because he keeps as you're talking to him, he keeps like talking to some of his his his, his men saying, "No, no, I told you in that pile over there, yeah, they, they're, <laughs> they're 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 going they're going all the way to St. Louis. Now get get the St. Louis stuff on that on that car there. I want th- this stuff. I, I want I want these bags." On this car, okay. and I want it done. And I want it done yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, and like, all right. Sorry, sir. Uh, you're looking. You're looking for someone you know. Uh, yes, yes. Look, I, I don't. I don't have any kind of lists. I uh, have you seen I, any uh, baggage with the uh, markings of CF on it? Uh, I see, I've seen a lot of bags today. Oh, okay, uh, Mister. I. Uh, um, can, if 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 your friends on if your friends on the train, I'm sure you run into them. You got you got you got a few. You got you have a few, uh, depending, you know depending on how far you're going, you might have, you know, give a few days to look for them. Jack uh, reached down into his pocket and he'll pull out uh, some money and he'll have a a, a ten dollar bill there uh, <laughs> as he's as he's talking, oh, kind of there in his hand 
try and try and say, I, I, I just really would appreciate it if, uh, if, if you, if you were able to help me and, uh, and <laughs> su such with the, this matter, it, uh, you know, how good buddies are. I'm sure you had one or two, a fellow like you. His, his eyes kind of narrow and, and he, uh, and, 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 he, and he looks at the money in your hand. Uh, give me a, give me a streetwise. All right. Let's see. My streetwise is four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Actually, uh, and I'll give you two extra dice for, because it's $10. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. I, I didn't back that up. So that's uh, let's see. Okay, so that's uh, that would be one success. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. I, on the two extra on the bonus ones you gave me. I rolled yeah. two ones. Oh, jeez. So, <laughs> he, um, so see, he, I he had put, other he, good rolls. So he put he puts his hands on his hips and can and can and can and can gives you this hard look. He says, uh, um. Sorry, sir. I have a lot to do. Okay. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sure, I'm sure one of the porters can help you. Uh, can help you find your place in the train. He just right. shakes his head and and ja and Jack uh, hand That's him right. the hand him the ten dollar bill and say your lads have been real good to me and I'm sure they'll be even better. You've been good. Uh, here, take this and uh, spread it uh, spread it around and t and and if you happen to come across my buddy. Just tell him Harold B. Page uh, is here and uh, just would like to uh, catch up over a drink or two. Uh, and he, he, he just kind of shakes his head and, and, and he, let, he, let, he, let you, he lets you tuck the 10 into his pocket. But uh, uh, And then the uh, jacket turn, turn around and head, head over to uh, the dock. Okay. Uh, and what has Mortimer been doing? Doing this uh, in this whole exchange, yarding just. Um, <laughs> I sorry guys, I've apparently I've had trouble just. That's okay. I, uh, if you, I mean, if you if you want, we can we can get you guys on the train and then we can pick it up next time. Not a I big think deal. I, I think we we might have to because I'm trying and I'm I'm just failing slowly. <laughs> Not a problem. And it's it's, it's becoming a problem. Don't sweat it. Yep. Don't don't sweat it. And I feel like. Terrible because I was like really excited for this game and like this whole time I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all right, not a problem. Um, but yeah, I, I think this whole time he's literally just trying to keep out um, as much of an eye for anybody who could possibly be. He knows his like honestly. Um, I think that. Um. Mortimer, he he he's kind of thinking that this is just a like a, a hail a hail mary of mm -hmm. uh, of an opportunity. Like if they find him here, awesome. But he's not counting on it. Like this is just not like yeah, in the they, cards. I was gonna say there's there, there's there's a there's a lot of people on on the platform. Some right. who are getting on the train, some who are just with people who are getting on the train. So it's 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 just it's crowded. This steam, you know, covering this, you know, coming up from the from the train itself as, as it's uh, getting ready to uh, you know, get warmed up. Um, you got porters going back and forth. You got bag, you know, bag handling. It's, just, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's chaos, but yeah. I get what you're saying. Um, but, uh, uh, but that, yeah. that being said, uh, I think what he's going to try to do as much as he can is try to put faces to names without being okay. obvious like he'll he'll like try to like peek at people's like name tags on their luggage or whatever and, okay. and you know match that up with the the na the list of names he has in his head sure sure and, and he's gonna try to do that as much as he can okay so. i mean I'll, I'll say i'll say you're able to get a few anyway right uh, you know as, as uh, you know uh and now are you doing everyone or are you or are you specifically doing uh uh men um. Yeah, there's we'll say there's, 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 there's a lot of women and children too, and you know, uh, we'll say um just men, so that way, like, yeah. maybe it'll eliminate people off of 
like potentially people that he doesn't have to like look into. So, right, right. Yeah, I mean, um, you've already said, you know, uh, actually, give me a yeah. Uh, what would be a good one? Uh, Start marking on their forehead D or an S. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, pulls out a piece of charcoal. Uh, uh, roll, get, roll, uh, roll, roll, double your intelligence. So, uh, whatever so your intelligence double, is, double it and double and it. So it's three. Six, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat that as, as kind of like a, um, you know, just kind of a, a good thought. Uh, three. Okay. Um, uh, you you've already sort of uh, I'm gonna say you've you've already sort of mentally written off uh, the survivors, uh, because or at least you know tentatively you know you, they're not written off the list in, uh, of, of suspects entirely. Mm-hmm. But what you're thinking is that if if the if the smuggler had survived, he would have made his delivery, um, right? Or or at least had gone to them and and uh, you know. Told, told him it was lost or whatever, but the, it just you know, as far as far as far as time works knows, it just disappeared like uh, you know completely, based on the based on the letter um, that their client had. Um, so, the odds of it being a survivor are are less. Let's yeah. Say. Um, you know, but uh, anyway, that's uh, <clears throat> um, that 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 was just you know. What do you thought? So, eliminate you know if you tentatively eliminate survivors and and women, that definitely narrows your your suspect list considerably. Mm-hmm. And so you, you're you're do, you're you're more, you're you're doing it more calculating ways. You're just kind of standing there, people watching, and you're like, and <laughs> I imagine kind of like a, a kind of a home a Sherlock, you know a Sherlock thing where the names going to look like uh, uh, you know uh, um, uh, uh, married. Married European cut suit, nope, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this 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 guy uh, last last name Bozeman, uh, uh, not a uh, survivor, nope, <laughs> you know. <laughs> kind of going going realist in your head. She's a naked lady watching. gets confused for some reason. <laughs> right. <laughs> for some reason, a random naked lady just runs across the platform. <laughs> no, I just that, that was the part I hated about that show. It's like, oh, naked lady, ah, uh, and you just brain farts real hard. It's like, really, really, <laughs> whatever. Oh, tell me you've never experienced that. Uh, I have, but I'm not Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> that was my problem with it. It's like he's Sherlock Holmes. He's supposed to be like this high functioning soci- uh, sociopath, as he claims to be. And yet, a naked woman although, befuddles although, him. Although, to be fair, uh, as as a, as, a, as a connoisseur of Sherlock Holmes, he his his one his one significantly weak his weakest area is with humans and particularly women. He I, he either ignores them or underestimates them. And uh, uh, if, if, if 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 you ever get a chance to see like uh, um, Jeremy Brett's original. Like Sherlock Holmes from BBC, uh, the one where he encounters uh, it's a scandal in Bohemia, where he encounters the woman, which is the equivalent <laughs> to her in 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 the original canon. Mm. Um, it, it, it's it's interesting. I think they do it pretty well because again, in the in the original story, he got kind of flustered by her in a way. So it's it's kind of it, that was sort of their way their take on it. Um, Damn drug guy. <laughs> Well, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, big time. Seven <laughs> percent solution of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> but he had a marvelous deductive mind. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, that's uh, uh I, I, I love Sherlock Holmes. I like you know, the old the old black and whites with Basil Rathbone. I didn't like the update. I liked I liked I liked the original time period, which is why I love the BBC uh, Jeremy Brett series yeah just that's that's spot on it's like that that's to me that's that's canon mm-hmm. um they stick very very closely to the stories and so forth um, see and for me basil uh is because that's as a kid growing up watching right 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just That's the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I get that. That's why uh, R- Robert Downey Jr. there when he played mm-hmm. played it, I was a little disappointed. Good story, but a little. It was fun. I yeah, yeah. I, I I I went into it looking at it from the point of view of like, it's Robert Downey Jr. So they're they're gonna they're gonna you know they're gonna and I kind of knew what kind of direction they were gonna take with it, and they did, and it was fun. Um, you know, uh, I, I didn't I had different expectations, but I liked most iterations of Sherlock Holmes, even like. Ones that are, are, are a bit, a bit, uh, you know, very differently filtered, like uh, the TV show House. <laughs> you know? Oh, um, I like House. Oh, it was, it was great, but that was basically, you know, Holmes House. <laughs> you know, he, even even his apartment number was two two twenty one B, which is like in, ca- in case you missed the, the the connection. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but uh, the the thing is with those movies is like that's a guy Ritchie thing like oh yeah yeah as, uh, as soon as i saw guy Ritchie was directing i was like okay so there's gonna be lots of fast there's gonna be a bunch of people fast talking at some point you know and <laughs> there's gonna be action sequences there's gonna be weirdness oh, yeah. so yeah oh, it's, and, and it's like not said, it's it, definitely not gonna be your traditional Sherlock. But. yeah yeah and and and, and, and that's the, but that's the point I i went into it knowing that and it was fun you know so i, I, I didn't bother me if 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 if, it, if they claimed that they were doing authentic sherlock holmes and and it wasn't that'd be like oh really no <laughs> no 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 that's not even close um but uh all right uh well, okay so we'll, we'll you're tied so we'll, we'll wrap it up um we'll say that uh you guys managed to uh um you, you you both you both pick out a a little clutch of potential suspects, mm-hmm. um, which uh, I'll make note of, and because um, even if you don't know the names, I do. And uh, <laughs> well, and the, then, I would I would tell them and describe the five that I was suspecting of the men. Right. Well, he remember he doesn't know what the, no many of them look like either. Most of them did, they didn't really have photos um, no but i'm just saying but, i yeah the, the ones i felt i yep. describe them oh, yeah. to him so he know oh right because right, he would know ones that he paid he paid right sure i got you yeah yep yeah you can so you can see where you're and your, see if there your, was any common and see if there was any commonality sure absolutely because that could also narrow things down too you it could still be wrong but yep. it's not, you you you, 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 you with with some of these time with some of these time works expeditions, especially ones like this, you have you sometimes have very little to go on. You know, records are either re- records are sketchy sometimes, and especially when you're going after something that is, uh, you know, illegal to be you know is is something illegal going on to begin with, which is going to be you know under the table. You know, it'd be different if you would, if you knew who exactly you were going after, and they had and you had a picture and you had to get something from them before they died or whatever. But mm-hmm. In this yep. case, it's uh, it's a little different, but cool. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, when when I was uh, when I was setting this up, I went through. Um, you know, I knew I wanted to be on a train. I knew I wanted uh, uh, to be to be after something specific from the train that got lost, and uh, so I started looking for for jewels that had been that had been missing for a long time, mm-hmm. and I came across this. Uh, this Florentine diamond, which uh, is which went missing at just the right time, <laughs> so it's like all right, nice, <laughs> and and that's also the kind of thing that a you know that someone with enough money to hire time TimeWorks would want to get. I mean, half right. a half a billion dollar gem, and the cool thing is it's missing, and it and it didn't it you know it didn't really belong to anyone at the time per se. And so mm-hmm. it's, it's like if if you found it today, it it, it would be yours. You know, it, it's not a matter of like, you know, ownership um, or, or, or it has it has to be returned to this government or this family or you know the descendants of this person. It's like you you would be rich instantly, <laughs> right? Provided you could sell it and all that shit. But I I'm pretty sure you could with a, with a well known diamond like that. Um, you know. <clears throat> you could take it to a, a, one of these big auction houses in New York City or or oh. London or something like that, and uh, 
and yeah, it would. Yeah. You might not be able to get five hundred million, but you right. could you could retire. <laughs> but being well known like that and finding it, you could always sell it to a, a museum and get a yeah, a yeah, cash if you were, outlay. Sure, if you were, if you yeah, if you were uh, on the more noble side, but uh, I, I would oh, I I would totally do what I would do personally. <laughs> Uh, would announce to the world like I have this diamond I found blah 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 and wait for like all the offers to come in and then just throw it in the lake Uh, (laughs) because diamonds are like the the price of diamonds are so manufactured it pisses me off so I, I would love to just like so you just be, you just do you just spiteful, yeah. Yeah, just to spite all the diamond people, like you guys, like yeah. It, it's literally the they're only so expensive because we have like two or three corporations that own like the most prolific mines, yeah, and yeah. they manufacture their own prices. It, bullshit, I hate it <laughs> so much. I understand. I understand. Yeah, but. Um. Now, if this was like five years ago when, you know, I didn't have such a well-paying job, probably would say something different, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Des- des- the desperation uh, can, can, can change morals a bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, well, see, to me, this is one of those, it's, a, it's such a rare diamond that's really not that inflated uh, mm. because, of, because of its size and history and all that stuff and, it, and it's. And it's clarity and all this. I mean, generally Fair. the diamonds you get like you know De Beers and all that shit. Those those are the those are the evil ones. But to yeah. me, one like this is 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 a historical artifact, and and I would have no problem at least at least selling it to a, a museum. You know. Fair. Um, I can I can concede that. But yeah, I, I get I get what you're saying. Um, okay, so we'll we'll pick up next time when you guys are getting on the train, and uh, we can start the. Uh, um, the, the the train heist as it were um, <laughs> uh, the good news is once the train is, is off and moving you guys will you guys will have plenty of time uh, to uh, to begin uh, kind of narrowing the search down uh, talking to people uh, and uh, and finding out where this elusive diamond is uh, before the train plummets into a uh, before it gets well, actually, I guess it gets like ripped off a bridge. I guess the bridge is disintegrated by this wall of water. Pretty terrifying end. <laughs> um, but oh, uh, do a bunch of mercy killing. Jesus. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, 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 maybe Jack isn't right for time. <laughs> 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 I, uh, Jack I'm, Jack I'm inclined to agree. Jack might be a little dark, um, but okay. I'm gonna get going, uh, All right. and uh, we'll we'll pick it up next week. Cool, guys. Yep. Thanks for you guys. Later. Go ahead.